All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to properly sharpen a drill just using a bench grinder. The reason why I'm making this video is because there's a lot of guys out there that don't have experience in sharpening drills. Uh, I've been a machinist, tool maker, uh, form grinder, uh, tool grinder for th 33 years now. And um, this is something that's very simple. And if you've never done it before, well, you need to learn. Because um, it really sucks when you're in your garage and you got to drill something and your drill's not sharp. And what do you do? Go out and buy a new one? No. If you got a bench grinder, you can sharpen it as good as new. And uh, so I'm going to show you how to do that right now. All right. In order to understand how to how to sharpen a drill, you have to understand some basic geometry or, or things you really need to know. Um, in order to sharpen your drill properly, um, what I do is imagine an imaginary line right in the middle of this grinding wheel right here that splits, you know, splits the two halves, okay? So that, the key thing is to stay above the center of the wheel, okay? So in this case, we have a rest here, and I'm looking at it, and it's, it's about center. I mean, we're not talking any precision here, but it's about center. Now, what I do is I put my finger just above that to rest the drill on, okay? Now, the angle this way is not super important as long as they're equal on both sides. That's the important thing. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you're above center, and you could grind it here. You even got a little notch here for it, but honestly, Take it from experience, you want to be just above it, a little higher. So I always put my finger here. Don't worry about your fingers. As long as you keep it away from the wheel, you're fine. I mean, I still have mine. It's been 30-some years. <laughs> um, so I rest it on my finger, and what I do is I roll it into the wheel back and forth, okay, until you see that it's cutting, it's grinding the cutting edge here. And what I do is I grind that three times. I go one, two, three, and then just flip it 180, and then one, two, and three like that, okay? So I'm gonna zoom in a little more here. And it's good to follow the angle that's on there already. Let me show you real quick. Another thing you need to get is one of these dressing sticks right here. That cleans up the wheel and makes sure it's nice and straight. Okay, I got this little short one here I'm going to work on. I got a drill here that's not the greatest. Let's see if I can get that the camera to focus in. Uh, the angle's all messed up. It's been relieved way too much. Um, so I'm going to straighten this thing out. Now, when a drill is pretty bad, you want to use the rough side of the grinding wheel first and then use the finished side. So let's work on this one. You 
can see I straighten the angle out now. The angle is nice. And it's relieved properly. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. Okay, now when sharpening your drills, you don't want to come up too high like this and roll the cutting edge over. You just want to come up about level. Okay. Okay, on a drill, you're going to have your cutting edge, which is right here. Okay, this right here is your cutting edge. And this angle back here is your relief angle. You always want this relief lower than your cutting edge. Okay, obviously because it won't cut if this was higher right back here. Okay, so in order to achieve that, you're going to have to stay above the center line of the wheel like I showed you and, and rest the uh, drill on your finger uh, so it's even up higher. Again, if this is the center line of the wheel, the imaginary line that we talked about, you want to stay up above the center line of the wheel. I can get that to zoom in. There we go. Uh, there. You got your cutting edge and the relief back here. And you always make sure that that's, the relief is lower than the cutting edge. You can see it right there. Just by looking. All right, guys, I hope you learned something uh, about just basic uh, drill grinding. Um, the thing is to stay above the center line of the wheel. Um, when you're grinding, hit it the equal amount of times per side when you're flipping it over. So if you hit it two or three times, hit it two or three times on the other side too. Um, and just make sure when you're grinding it, look down the, the drill and make sure that cutting edge is higher than the relief in the back. Okay? And... Uh, that's basically it. Don't worry about your angle so much. It, I mean, there's two basic angles, 118 and 135. Your 118 is for your general use, uh, cutting softer materials, wood, aluminum, stuff like that. Your 135 degrees drills, uh, the steeper angles, that's made for the harder stuff, okay? Um, generally, you don't have to worry about that if you're just using it for your, you know, garage or whatever. But basically, follow the angle that's on the drill and you'll be safe. And, um, and that's really all there is to it, okay? So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please like and subscribe, and I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you.